Hi, I'm Lucas Whitmer. I'm a product development engineer here at the MK Morse Company, and today I've got a Morse Minute Tech Tip. I'm going to explain when you should use the low tooth count aluminum cutting metal double blades versus when you should use the high tooth count aluminum cutting metal double blades. You should use the low tooth count blades if you're running on a lower RPM saw, cutting materials that are inside of these bounds, or if you're on a high RPM saw, like a wood cutting saw or a miter saw, and you're cutting thick materials, things that are thicker than a half of an inch thick. You should use the high tooth count blades if you're inside of these bounds on a high RPM saw, you know, your wood saws or your miter saws, or if you're on a low RPM saw and you're cutting very thin work pieces down towards this end of the spectrum. Let's go down to the cut lab and show you what we mean. So here's the high RPM saw with the lower tooth count blade so we can tackle this thick piece of aluminum. So here's that higher RPM saw with the higher tooth count blade. This is going to be really important for our window and door manufacturers because these extra teeth are going to ensure that small pieces on your extrusions don't get caught up in the gullets of your blade. So here's the lower RPM saw with the lower tooth count blade. Again, this is kind of that optimized combination like we just saw with the high RPM, high tooth count blade. So here's the lower RPM saw with that higher tooth count blade. What this combination is going to allow you to do is cut very, very thin work pieces. Stuff like window trim and door trim. We're going to be cutting a pop can because you can't get a whole lot thinner than that. Take a note of how little burr there is on this pop can when we're cutting. So you can see from our demonstration how well each saw and blade combination can cut those different work pieces. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service department. This was your Morse Minute Tech Tip, and as always, thanks for watching.